and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here today's video is going to be an Ashley Garcia intro tutorial using phone so if you want to know how I did this intro please keep on watching for this intro we'll use four apps the first one is a background eraser fix art fonto and kinemaster or kinemaster yung una na background eraser actually it's just optional kasi pwede mo siyang gawin sa fix art pero kung gusto mong mas mapadali yung gawain mo with just one click then background eraser is the perfect app for you and yes para ako nagpo-promote doon for the photos you have to download old computer monitor macbook photo booth template as well as your background lahat sila search sa Google. So, dun lang din naman ako kumuha. Pero, meron din siyang stickers sa PixArt na pwede mong gamitin. Lalo na yung MacBook Photo Booth. Kaso, medyo pixelated. And, hindi ko bet yung pagkakakrap. So, tsagaan na lang humanap sa Google kasi marami naman ng results na lumalabas. And, mas malinaw pa yung picture. Pagkatapos ng photos, font style naman yung next natin. And, yung ginamit ni Ashley, same with the movie Clueless. Yung font style doon, it's called Adlib. And, na-download ko siya from thefonts.com. Don't worry, I'll put all the links down below in the description box. So, make sure to check it out. And then, after downloading the font style, we have to install it in Fonto kasi doon tayo mag add text later on. Next step is erasing the background of the photo. Kung PNG na yung na-download mo, ang gagawin mo na lang is aalisin natin yung black screen ng monitor sa gitna. Same with the MacBook Photo Booth. And magagawa natin yan sa background eraser. So, open the app, import your photo, click erase, target area, and then, i-target mo siya dun sa area na mismo gusto mong ma-erase. And in this case, kailangan natin matanggal yung black screen ng monitor para magmukha siyang parang butas. Huh? <laughs> Ang pangit ng butas na term. Um, para maging transparent siya. And then, after that, save it. And then, same process with the MacBook Photo Booth template. Tatagdalin natin yung pinakagat na para matitira na lang is yung pinaka-border nung template. And then, save it. Tapos, yan, may PNG ka na. We'll now proceed to our next step, which is creating our logo in PixArt. sa PixArt kung naka-download or naka-install na dito yung Adlib font style na dinownload mo kanina. Pero, dapat kasi naka-gold ka or naka-premium bago ka makapag-install ng font. And, hindi ako naka-gold. So, sa font ako na lang yun gagawin kasi pwede ka makapag-install ng fonts doon for free. So, let's proceed to font to. And then change the text color which is color white and add outline or stroke. I prefer dark gray over black to make it look like more cartoonish. Basta kung ano ang trip mong outline color. And then save it. After doing those steps, we'll now proceed to the last step which is combining them all in the video app. And kinemaster yung gagamitin natin. Baka magtaka kayo bakit kinemaster and hindi video lip. Well, video lip is not available in Android. Kailangan mo pang mag-download ng APK version nun para lang magamit and ang hassle nun para sa inyo. So, to consider the Android users out there, I decided to use kinemaster instead since it's a widely used app and it's available both in iOS and Android. But to be honest, hindi ko talaga siya feel before. Parang din-download ko siya tapos in-uninstall ko rin right away because I feel like the tools are kind of complicated and the workplace or the workspace as well. So, hindi ko siya talaga nagustuhan before. Pero ngayon, tinry ko ulit. Binigyan ko siya ng chance. Yes! Sana all binibigyan na second chance. Charot. So, 
Ayun, nakapag-edit naman ako. But guys, just a heads up, this part is kind of cheeky. Kasi may gagawin tayong animation. So, dapat masync natin lahat to achieve a smoother transition of the intro. Pero, madali lang din naman siya as long as wala kayong masiskip na step. So, make sure na ma-follow nyo lahat ng gagawin ko doon. I-voice over ko na lang kasi puro na ako chika dito. Please keep on watching. Import your background. Any background will do. And adjust mo lang yung timeline niya. Tapos, import mo yung screen record nung video ni Ashley. Optional lang naman to, guys. Ginawa ko lang siyang guideline or basis kung hanggang saan nag-end yung clips. And ito na rin kasi yung ginamit kong audio. Kasi i-extract natin siya mamaya. Tapos, import mo na rin yung computer background. I mean, computer photo na ginawang transparent. And i-center mo lang siya by checking it horizontally and vertically. Import mo na rin yung logo. Send backward para mapunta siya sa likod. Malamang. <laughs> Kaya ginawa natin transparent yung computer kanina. Tapos, adjust mo lang kung hanggang saan mag end yung logo. And then, maglagay ka lang ng video. Any video. Yan, aura-aura lang. Tapos, yung solid background kanina. And MacBook Photo Booth template, tsaka yung video intro. Make sure na pantay-pantay yung start ng clips ng tatlong yun. Huwag mo munang gagalawin tong playhead or yung color red. Tapos, pag na-import mo na, tsaka mo adjust yung timeline nilang lahat. Kung hanggang saan mag-end. And then, this part, ito na yung sinasabi ko sa inyo na dapat sabay na sabay. So, kung nakikita nyo tong key icon na to, that's what you call keyframe. Yan yung reason ba't nag-animate yung object sa video. And every time na maglalagay ka ng mark, yun, yun yung mark na gumagalaw na siya. So, para mapagalaw mo siya, that i-resize mo siya. And then... Dapat same yung marks ng computer as well as the logo. Para pag gumalaw siya, nakasync siya. And kung anong mark nung nasa logo, ganun din dapat sa computer. So again, wag mong gagalawin yung playhead or yung color red. Then after that, i-send backward mo lang yung video, pati yung background na yellow. Tapos itong MacBook, i-resize mo lang. Tapos, yung video naman or yung video intro, pwede mo siyang i-crop para kasha siya dun sa MacBook template. And then, maglagay lang tayo ng animation. Ginamit ko is scale up. Dapat same din sila ng template para pag gumalaw, again, nakasync sila. Tapos, i-extract na natin ngayon yung audio ng video ni Ashley. Kasi yun yung gagawin nating background music. And then, i-fade out lang natin. Actually, in term dito is volume envelope. Pero sa ibang apps, fade out. So, ayan. And then, bago pa makalimutan, i-adjust natin yung view ng pinaka-computer. Pero, pwede mo namang di na i-adjust. Pero ako, trip kong i-adjust. So, ayan. And sorry sa boses ko, guys. Madaling araw ako nag-record. Kamusta naman nun? And then, naglagay lang din ako ng effects, which is scan wave. Pero sa premium yata to, guys. Hindi eh, ko alam kung available din siya. Pero, di ako naka-premium, ha. <laughs> Seven days free trial lang to. And pwede nyo rin yun gawin. Kung gusto nyo lang i-explore yung app. Tapos, i-cancel nyo yung subscription before siya mag-renew. Para wala kayong mabayaran. <laughs> That's a trick, guys. And then, export it. That's it. Hey, sana marami ulit kayo natutunan sa video na to. And if you haven't watched my previous tutorial on how to edit iOS notification intro of Jessica Vu, I'll put the link down below. And to try ko yung mag-tutorial yung game-inspired intro niya. As well as other Ashley Garcia-inspired intros. So, sobrang ganda naman talaga ng mga edit ni Ashley. Like, every video, may excite ka talaga anong theme, anong intro ipapakita niya. Pero hindi lang edit eh, pati na rin yung contents niya. So, Ashley, baka naman. Shout out. So, comment na kayo ng mga video requests nyo. Nababa sa ako sila lahat, nag-reply ako and sobrang nakakilig kapag may mga nagsasabing nakagawa sila ng version nila by following my tutorial. Sobrang nakakataba ng puso. Itatry ko pa yung best ko para matulungan kayo. Just don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!